Hello, my name is Patrick Tan from the Duke NUS Medical School and the Biomedical Research Council. And I'm here today with Dr. Lele Chen from Cancer Science Institute Singapore to present our paper, ADR-mediated RNA editing predicts progression and prognosis in gastric cancer, recently published in Gastroenterology. Our work was performed in collaboration with a number of other Singapore investigators as part of the Singapore Gastric Cancer Consortium, including scientists from the Genome Institute of Singapore, National University Hospital, and National University of Singapore. We also work closely with leading cancer institutes in South Korea, including Yonsei Cancer Center and Samsung Medical Center. Gastric cancer, or stomach cancer, is the fifth most common cancer worldwide and the third leading cause of cancer mortality. Previous genomic studies from our group and others have identified a variety of different molecular alterations in gastric tumors. However, there still remains a sizable proportion of gastric cancers for which no driver molecular alterations have been defined. In this study, we sought to identify additional molecular processes that might contribute to gastric cancer development. Specifically, we looked at the process of RNA editing. RNA editing is a process by which mutations are introduced into messenger RNAs rather than at the DNA level. Using next generation sequencing, we examined the transcriptomes of gastric tumors and matched normal tissues and identified close to over a thousand misedited RNA editing sites in close to over 900 genes. What this revealed to us is that the RNA editing landscape of gastric tumors is a misedited landscape. I'm Polly Chen, also the co-corresponding author of this paper. In this project, my role is to synergize all our efforts to focus on the role of RNA editing dysregulation in gastric cancer. RNA editing is a process in which the RNA sequence is changed after it is made from DNA, resulting in an altered gene product. The RNA editing of the target RNA, is, uh, which is the most common type of RNA editing in human, um, is catalyzed by two ADR protein, ADR1 and 2. This study, due to the genomic gain of the ADR1 gene and the loss of the ADR2 gene, patients with the developed gastric cancer show the highest level of ADR imbalance, predicting the post-clinical prognosis. Our work also pro provides the direct in vitro and in, vi in vivo evidence that the catalytic activity of ADR1 and 2 are functionally required for their oncogenic and tumor su suppressive role respectively. Further, uh, ADR2 induced recording RNA editing event was found to be associated with the gastric cancer pathogenesis. Altogether, two findings in our study are of potential near-term clinical and translational significance. First, measure the ADR1 and 2 level in the gastric tumor may facilitate the ability of the clinician to ascribe the clinical prognosis in the individual patient. Second, we observe the increasing level of RNA editing dysregulation from the normal gastric tissue to the premalignant intestinal metaplasia and finally the clinical verified gastric tumor samples. All these data uh, raise the possibility of measuring the editing level in the gastric tissue may, uh, particularly at the pre-malignant stage, may help identify the individual at risk for the subsequent gastric cancer development. Moving forward, we will be investigating the key editing events regulated by ADR1 and 2 protein during the gastric cancer development. We plan to develop a safe and efficient method to collect this, correct this process. Um, there's one concern for targeting ADR1 is that ADR protein has thousands of editing target, um, which may cause widespread side effect. As an alternative, we will, with more cancer-driven editing event being identified in the near future, we will design the small molecule, which is um, stable and easy to be delivered into cells, um, such as triplex-forming oligonucleotide, TFO, that can compete with ADR protein to bind with the target RNA and then to block the cancer-driven editing process. For further detail, please look at our paper published in Gastroenterology. Thank you.